In a couple of previous tutorials, I talked about Gridify. And what I want to do is show you how to use the Gridify option with text frames. So I'm going to go to File and Open. In Chapter 5, I will come down to Folder 14, Text Grids. And I'm going to open up this simple file. Okay, I've got all this text for the history of Snake Eyes. But man, that is a lot of text to read. So I don't want to use all of it. I'm going to bring this back over. And I'm going to design my own grid for text. So I'm going to take my type tool. I'm going to click and drag right here. And right when I get over to the right, there's a smart guide. These are exactly lining up on the right side of that box. But this is just going to be one more big text frame when I let go of my mouse. So as I'm holding down the mouse, I'm going to hit the up arrow and divide this into three text frames right there. I let go of the mouse. Now I can come in with my type tool. I'm going to highlight these two paragraphs, edit and copy them. And the great thing about text Gridify is this box is linked to this box, which is linked or threaded together. So as soon as my type comes down to the bottom right, it will jump into the next box, continue down to the right, and then jump to continue into the third. So I'm going to click here, edit and paste. And there is my text all threaded together. So now I can take my black arrow and let's say I want to move this up a little bit to cut off this last line. So let's just push that up. Now it reflows into the other boxes. I'll take this and hit my down arrow just to separate it a little bit. I'll take both of these, hit the down arrow, and we'll separate those two boxes to come down in here. Now I can take the word snake eyes and move it down into that space. Hit W, and we've got a little bit of a different design to our layout. So we'll just push these back up and kind of adjust the spacing on that. And that's called Gridify. You can click and drag with your type tool. Okay, click and drag, and while you hold down the mouse, you can hit the up arrow for rows, the right arrow for columns. So literally my text would flow through all nine of these boxes, which would make it really hard to read, but it can be done. So just be aware of that. As you click and drag with your text tool, you can hit the up arrow, right arrow, down arrow, left arrow, and design linked or threaded text frames for unique layout ideas there in InDesign.